Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another Stratego video. It's going to be another ranked game analysis. This one against Major Kuchinko. I, don't, I, don't, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not even sure. Uh, right now I'm at, I'm at my um, highest rating yet. Um, I'm silver major. I'm slowly going towards um, gold. And the site is finally back up. It was down for like three weeks or so. But yeah, it's finally back up so I can um, start recording videos again. Um, so yeah, let's get into this game. So I'm I'm using the setup I I, I like it because it like this minefield here over here so they can't really get much done and then Gen Spy Colonel holds the side and then the Marshal um holds the side over here so yeah I, I just like the setup it's pretty solid um I do have some some problem with like lot of wars but for the most part it's pretty good so yeah this guy's um at the beginning he's um he plays pretty passively as you can see he's just like making sure everything's defended and all that. So I'm just I'm just scouting around pieces. I've I found a captain there, and since 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 I found a captain here, I probably so I think it's okay to attack here because who who has double captain and like you you typically don't see like captain major or something. You typically see like captain scout or captain sergeant. Yeah, but you typically don't see captain major in the front. So I just decided to um, hit this just to um just 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 to um, get some info. So we find a sergeant. So that that's good. So behind it. So so this this was great. Um, he sh he shouldn't have traded here. He probably should have like gone back and maybe like like lured me into something. But um, yeah, yeah. This is why you you don't defend a sergeant with the captain because there there are a lot of front row captains. And um, yeah, he he shouldn't trade. He shouldn't have traded though because because he, he lost a sergeant from the exchange. So yeah, if I were him, I wouldn't wouldn't have traded. But it's it's no big deal. Like he got gets gets pieces off the board, and it wasn't like I, I wouldn't call that that a mistake. It's just a preference, I guess. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna start advancing with scouts here in the center, just cause I want to like find out like the pieces over here, just to see if I can like get any good info. And now I have a lot of scouts here, so they're pretty expendable. So he scouts the sergeant. That was that was good. It's it's always great when your opponent scouts the sergeant. So I'm trying to um I'm I'm not gonna bother moving over here because I'm perfectly happy with my defense. Like my marshal's de defending the scout, and so as well as my captain. So I have pretty good defense over here. So. I'm not gonna bother going up because then I can risk like my marshal getting found out easily. So I have no reason to move anything over here. So uh, so right now I'm hoping that they comes down the right side and then like gets stuck on these um, bombs over here. So um when I go up here, um so this captain was known. So if I were him, I would have hit me, but. That's, that's, that's just me because this was kind of an obvious bluff. Like, like no one just brings like a major hire just like into like, a bunch of pieces, especially considering this could easily be a high piece. I'm just, I'm just trying to find out what this is, but for some reason he doesn't hit me. I don't know why, but I'm not complaining. So we've had a bomb. I would have preferred to find something better, but a, bo a bomb is always fine. And also, I found him um, info because even though he didn't like directly like give me a piece, this captain here, it's probably being defended by either one of these pieces, probably this one, but it also could be both of these. Like maybe Colonel Marshall, or like General Spire, or something along those lines, because I mean, he he wasn't he wasn't afraid of the captain being taken. Um, so, so he trades sergeants here, so it looks like he's um, a fan of trading, which is um, gonna not be good for him in the long run because he's gonna end up like, like, like losing like a scout or a sergeant and then trading, which so I'm gonna get ahead on those types of pieces. So um, I personally I don't I don't like trading, but this guy seems to um be quite fond of it. Um. So now he's got my major. Um, so I, I think that I, I, I couldn't have um protected this or like done anything differently because um, if I move, move the scout over to like prevent it, but then I, then my marshal will be at risk of scouting, and I'm, and I'm perfectly so, and, and I'd rather um give up the info of a major rather than than my marshal, obviously. And also, the marshal's here guarding the major, which is um marshal is typically like behind the leg, so it can't get scouted. So he might like hit this with like a colonel or a general, thinking that it's not defended. Um. So yeah, I'm I'm totally fine with that. So I couldn't couldn't have prevented it. So it's fine. Also with the setup, it doesn't really matter if your opponent like gets some info on you because like all of your stuff is defended so well that it doesn't really matter. So now here, I'm hoping that it's like a colonel or a general or something along those lines, so then I can get it with my marshal. But it's just a major. So this guy, he's exchanged like almost everything that. That's when he exchanged like a captain, a sergeant, a major. So that's not a good strategy, but um, yeah, because he he wasted a scout in that major, and then he he hit it. So basically, he got like a net loss of a scout. That's not good. 
Um, so then this this move here, I don't like doing something like this because um, a you're moving a back row piece, and you, you want to keep your back row stationary as possible. So then um, your opponent uh, like your back two rows, so then um, your opponent can know less about your setup. For me, moving the scout here, it was necessary because I didn't want to reveal something about here because if I move move this captain, then it would be pretty obvious that this was a bomb. So that so that's why I moved the scout here. But generally, you try to wait. Well, you want to try to keep this, this twenty as stationary as possible. So he did this, which I didn't, which I didn't like moving that piece out. And also, I don't think it was a good move to scout this, this lieutenant because it was third on the side. Like I have one set up with a general third row, third row on the side. Chances are, if, if it's um like open to scouting and it's a third row piece on the side, it's probably going to be nothing good. So in my opinion, this was kind of a waste of a scout. So yeah, this guy's kind of using his scouts a bit too fast. He's scouting pieces that. He's, he's not really thinking about what he's scouting. He's scouting pieces that, that like, don't really need to be scouted or like aren't a good choice to, to scout. So here I move this left, thinking that like oh he, he won't attack it because he's not that aggressive. But that was kind of a mistake because he hit with, with lieutenant. So I could have gotten a real lieutenant. Then again he might he might have not like hit it if it was if the captain was still behind it. But who knows? So that was a bit unfortunate, but whatever. So it's only a scout. It doesn't really matter that much. So I'm gonna pressure here because he doesn't know what this is. Like it could be like a marshal or something. Cause I mean it came from here, so it could, could totally be a marshal or something. So he moves here, and I I move in, forcing him to make it to make a decision. Because I don't I don't really care if I lose the captain early game. Like it doesn't it doesn't really matter that much. So yeah, I'm just mo moving it in, seeing what I can find with it. And um, he hits me with the colonel here, which is, in my opinion, it was a bit it was a bit of an interesting move. Like, it was chasing a lieutenant, so it could, probably was a captain or a major, you probably could have inferred that. But also, it came from here, which is, like, a very common high, high, high piece um, spot. So, so, taking it with the colonel, I don't know, it was, it was a bit of a risk, because it could have easily been with, like, marshal general. But, um, you, you might have just, like, just um, found out my play, my play style and realized that I don't just, like, come down blindly with, with those types of pieces. So, now I'm bringing the colonel out, seeing if I can, like, maybe get one of these two and then trade. So, now here... So here I do a little bit of a mistake. So here I'm like, okay, this is scout. He's gonna, gonna scout me, so I move it left. Is here that a signal that might be a scout? And so I, so I, I'm like, okay, would I rather have this scout or this scout? So I decided to move left here because if I move left and like let him scout this, I don't think he will scout it. But then he does this, and this was like, this was a pretty good move by him. And also, I'm, I'm like in like a really bad spot now because I'm worried that he that he's gonna scout this now. So I move it back. And then he scouts it. So then he, so then right now he's probably thinking, okay, I scouted a colonel and he blocked it for this piece. So he's probably thinking, okay, this could be the marshal general or spy, or there'd be no reason for him to do that, or or, or what's the flag? But like, who puts, who puts the flag there? So yeah, this was um, it's, it's a, this was a very bad move from um by me, but I, I'm I'm just hoping that while I'm playing that he doesn't make the connection. So I just, I just um, pressure pressure him because I can, and I'm kind of pinning him here, like um, on these two sides, and also this side's like bombed off. So he just this, I'm having a bit of a mistake because now I can get whatever this this piece is for free. And um, so yeah, I get it. It turns, it turns out to only be a minor, so I think that that was a net loss for me because I got a minor and I got a scout, but he got um captain and also he got info that th th this was a piece better better than a colonel or more valuable to me than a colonel so that was not great and now um i don't really have anything like mid-ranging over here to like move like this lieutenant i could but then i'm well so th this is known but i i, I don't want to move this one out because i don't know this i i just like some block here even, even though it's known i think i decided to move this lieutenant over yeah because i know that this is a captain and it's not a scout so he can't scout my gen that easily So now um, he's actually revealed a little bit about about his setup because um, this captain it's it's still here it's still stationary. And so now I'm pretty sure that, that one of these if not both of them are good pieces. In this right block this this appears to be a junk side because um he, I mean a he hasn't moved it at all and b his um like all the actions going on over here with like his colonel and like all, all that stuff. So yeah I'm thinking that, that this is um his stronger side.
So now, so now, since we move the SP, the SP's out, I'm thinking that this is a good piece because it's, it's again, the captain's still, still stationary and this is guarding it now. And this thing left, which means that it's probably less significant than this piece. So now I'm, my goal is to object this piece somehow. And find out what it is, because this guy, um, uh, like, while cool playing him, um, I noticed that he, he doesn't really bluff. Like, he's not, he's not that type of player, so I bring out a scout here to see if I can, um, check this piece. Um, so this was also a bit of a mistake on his end, because this, guy, this um, lieutenant was front row, so he had no reason to waste wa 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 a scout on it. So yeah, I personally, I never scout front row, front row pieces, it's just not worth it. Like, I might move, like, a scout up next to one of them, but I typically never, like, actually scout it. So this is, um, I believe this is a known lieutenant. Actually, no, sorry, it's not, it's not. My bad. So, yes, yeah, so I think this is, this is the known lieutenant. Yeah, yeah, it is, my bad. So I move the scout here, presenting that it's a good piece, because it came from, I think it came from here or here. I, I can't remember which one, but it came from one of the spots. So I just decided to defend it. That also takes a little bit of pressure off it, this piece. My marshal, of course. So, again, he exchanges. I don't know why this guy likes exchanging, because that was a net loss of a scout for him. So, I'm, I'm not complaining. But, yeah, that was interesting. So, now th th this lieutenant comes. And I debate going here, but then I realize he can just go up, and then I can't go up here. Then the lieutenant will just take me. So, I decided to just walk it up, take, take my chances. And um, he might think it's a good piece, because I mean, it was defending my lieutenant. So, so, I just do this. And then... This move was a bad move on his end. Um, if I were him, I probably would have gone this and then like this, maybe. But um, he did not do that. He did. So this move has a lot of um, mistakes in it. So first, it's a, it's a back row piece. And it's revealing that his flag is somewhere over here. Like it's probably not this, so it's like here to here. Assuming it's in the back row and it's bombed in. That reveals time of the setup, but also I don't know what this accomplishes because it's not it's not exactly going to take the scout here. And um, he should have realized that this piece was in danger of being scouted because um, I've I, I bluffed him a couple of times before, so he should have inferred that that was probably not a good piece. And if it was, he should have like, like moved the lieutenant to block it or something along those lines. See, so, yeah, in my opinion, that was a very, a very bad move. And now I find the marshals, so this can make the game a lot easier. Yeah, then notice that um, a lot of players they don't like well, a, a lot of, like solo players, of course, they don't. Really protect their marshal. I mean, not protect the marshal, but like protect the, like the info of the marshal. They make it kind of easy to scout, which is um, kind of a mistake that, that I have seen them do. I'm leaving mine uncovered uh, um, for two reasons. First, I don't really have like anything to cover it with, and second, it will make it a bit like too obvious, even though it's already like really obvious that that, that it's a good piece. So here I bring a colonel out because I'm like, okay, this is a back row piece, and and I don't really have like this lieutenant, but. I, I, this is done, so I assume may, maybe this is a captain coming to, coming to like try to take it, or like a lieutenant coming to exchange, because this guy like, likes to exchange. So I bring the colonel out, because like, what are the chances of like, a back row general on the same side as the marshal? Like, basically zero. Um, so this piece mo moves out. Um, I scout it, because like, I mean, I'm like, okay, it could be a good piece, because it came from the center. It's not, it's just a scout, but I'm happy to get rid of a scout, because that means my, my marshal will be um, less vulnerable of scouting, even though it's, again, it's already kind of kind of obvious that it's a good piece. Now he only has two more, two more scouts left, so that, that that's good for me. I'm just moving that out. So I decided to move this captain out because I want like some sort of mid-level piece here. Because like my gen is kind of it's gonna be kinda of, like easy to find. This scout here is protecting it from being scouted. Um but yeah, I just want some like some sort of bit like um I guess buffer so then I know like like what to attack a piece coming down with. Um, so now I decided to put some pressure on him, he moved his marshal back, so I'm going to try to um, bring my gen around here to, to, try to go over this captain. If his marshal de um, defends it, then I'm going to bring, bring my colonel up here, get some pieces to force the trade. And then I can start bringing like majors and stuff up, up there. Because I, I guess, because I'm, right now, while I'm, while I'm playing, like, okay, this is the strong side, there could be a colonel here. And then I would end up like trading, but if there's not a colonel here, and it was like over here instead, then this colonel is going to get a lot of value, because the gen's obviously not, not over here, like, that, would, that wouldn't make sense. And it would, like, it's possible, but the chances are pretty low. So, um, he's moving this captain back, so yeah, I'm just going to pressure him with, with these two pieces, because, um, he doesn't know what either of them are as of now. He will find them out later, of course, but, yeah, just do that, so. So, yeah, I assume that setup is somewhat balanced, because of, of, cause of, like, uh, I don't know, but I just assume it's, it's somewhat balanced, so, because, like, that's what most setups are. 
but I definitely think it's, this is the strongest side because of cause it has um, the Marshall in it. Um, so we, we we get this, which is pretty nice. We get the um, well, I wouldn't say pretty nice, but we get a minor. But whatever, this kernel was gonna get revealed either way, so it's fine. Um, so now I'm just gonna like pressure with the kernel and gen and see what I can get. So yeah, so the, there's a marshal coming down to defend. So I'm gonna bring bring my gen up and the marshal if the marshal threatens. So this is not a great move in my opinion. It's actually easy to just run this back, and then this leaves the captain a bit more vulnerable. So if I go out here, is forced to go right, and I can bring like colonel up here and like threaten this piece and like st stuff along those lines. So that's not, not a great move again. And this was an even worse move because now his marshal is totally out of position. Like if you go up here, he's gonna have to like like move move this over, and then my gen's gonna have a lot of control in the center. So yeah, this was not a very good move, and th this was an even worse move because, like, my spy's safe on the three square, my, my marshal's safe on the three square, my gen's like on the diagonal, obviously. So yeah, that scout was not a great move. So now I can go up here, and um, I can either a I can either pin his captain and his marshal with my gen, like forcing it back to here. B if he was smart, he would just go on the three square here, and C he would just like let this captain die. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get something like. I mean, if they're gonna get like a good board position, they're gonna get like a pin or a captain with with that move. So now I, I take advantage of this. I need to um, get my gen to take um, control of the center. Because if his marshal comes back, then I'm just gonna go up the um, left with my colonel. So I'm gonna go over here, and then I can because I know the lieutenant captain, so I'm gonna be able to get to get one of these unless his um marshal like like. So if I were him, I would have gone down here, and then if I moved any, I would just like uh, marshal right. But for some reason he did this. I don't know what the point of this was because he, he could have scattered this any time. So I don't know why he would do it now when he needs to move his marshal back. But I mean he did that, so we're just gonna get a free captain with the gen. So I'm not entirely sure what the point of that was, but <laughs> so yeah, we, we get that captain. Now his marshal comes back. So now this is great. So we got a captain, and also his marshal's pinned. So now I assume his general is gonna, gonna come. From wherever it may be, and then um, trades, so then his marshal can get unpinned. Because he's not in a great board position right now, so I bring my colonel up to, th to threaten him even further, like kind of confiding him to this area. And this is kind of funny, I find. So I'm like confiding him over here, and then he's like, okay, well, I guess I'll, I'll like attack over here, and then it's just bombed off. I mean, that, that, that must, like, he must have been so upset when, when, he saw, when he saw that. So yeah, now I figure. Well, it's time to get my, my marshal in action in case he like comes down the center with something. I might as well have it there because it's it's like it's gonna do nothing. Do nothing goes over here because the marshal's already like pinned by my colonel. Because I even was left that just I was going to go down and then like I'll get his lieutenant or something like that. So I'm just gonna get my marshal to the center and then also um here I feel that um he's, he's probably going like exchange generals which I'm fine with because it's gonna take it's gonna take him a lot of moves. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna prepare my, my defense for. Um, I think it comes down, it comes down with anything. See, so yeah, it's probably the gen. It's gonna like go and go for and trade, and I'm completely okay with that. Also, I mean, there's nothing, not no, no, nothing much I can do about it, so <laughs> might as well. He's gonna trade there, which is, which is um, he gets his marshal unpinned, which is good for him, I guess. So I just go up here, seeing if I can like find anything with the scout. I know this is a bomb. This scout was kind of an obvious bluff, but um, he didn't believe it before, so I'm like, I mean, what what do I have to lose here? Like, it's a scout, it's expendable, and info is um really helpful at this stage in the game. I'm like, yeah, might as, might as well find some things. So, see, so yeah, I go here. I'm so now right now I'm thinking that this is the spy. It's legit the gen came from here, so this is like seems seems the most logical because who who puts the spy here here, hysterically near the gen? So I just go here, but now this goes down, and I'm like, what? So I'm like either either this is like the ultimate bluff or it's not this bad, which is f far more likely, obviously. So I'm like, okay, whatever, I'll just hit up because like this, like if I go back, the bluff's kind of ruined. So like, might as well find find something. So so this was great. So you find a colonel. So now I'm thinking, okay, maybe this was this bike. It's like Gen Spy Colonel. That makes sense. So I hear I'm like, oh my gosh, but, but yeah, this, this, this is like no way though. So yeah, we found a colonel, so that's great. So if we found his last colonel, so now we know Marshall Colonel, and now I can um, now I can um, formulate an attack with, with my majors and maybe maybe my colonel. If I want to like bring like, bring it back and down the center and like force a trade of colonels and then like, yeah. 
So I think I have a, I'm at a pretty good spot in this game. I know where all the stuff is. He, he doesn't know when my watch leave. All of it's like really obvious. He, he knows my kernel, but that's fine. Whatever. So yeah, we're, we're up a little bit of info, and we are up. Um, we are up one sergeant and two miners, and two scouts. So we are technically winning. So he's bringing some stuff over here. So I just had to bring my kernel back in around here to maybe like get a piece in that exchange, which would be pretty good for me. The marshal got me out. I don't see. I don't even see what the point of this is. Maybe it's like going for my Louis or something. But yeah, I just don't, don't see the point of this. Yeah, I'm like, okay, he's he's gonna get a Louis, whatever. But I'm gonna have better poor, poor position after this whole exchange goes down. I was pushing my major. I mean, my colonel forced him to bring his colonel back for defense. Now here, you know, here he should have gone left, but he didn't. I don't know why. Because now I can go in and I can get something. Um, reason being because, um, because if he was like down in here, then I'll just take this. And if he was like, if he was like up here, I'll just take this, obviously. And then if he was like Marshall here, I'll just take this and then trade. So yeah, that's like, that's getting, I think that can be bad. So he does this. But now I know I'm gonna get at least a minor because he's out of scouts, so I'm gonna get at least have something for this. So what is, what's it gonna be? Gonna be a sergeant, so that's it's better better than a minor, so I'll take that. So now I'm, now I'm up to two sergeants, so I definitely have them lead in this game. Also, if you notice here, his setup is extremely revealed because like these two pieces, they make me think, okay, maybe the flags flags bomb in here or here or maybe it's in the corner, maybe it's open. But yeah, but my setup, he still has no idea. It could be over here. It could be in the corner here for all he knows. It could be like bombed in right here. Like he doesn't know. It could be like um any of these spots so yeah this is very important to do in the game but now i start bringing my majors out because i figure it's important to have decent defense on the board even though like it kind of reveals my, my flag a little bit i just want to keep defense on the board because at, at a certain point like it's not worth it to keep to keep your block pieces here as stationary as possible um so here i started to bring, to bring this major out but then i'm like wait he's gonna expect me to bring two meters out so i, so I might as well bring a minor out instead to see if I can like find some, like find his major, or maybe something like that. He's bringing his marshal down. I'm probably gonna start lottoing over here. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna like start bringing this up, see what I can like do there. So he's doing that, I'm just gonna go left here. He's gonna go down, and then I'm just gonna hit hit this. It's gonna be a trade major, just because what what, I mean, what else would it be at this point in the game? So he chose the trade majors, so and now he's gonna start to lotto. So here, at first, I'm like, okay, he's, he's going for this lieutenant. That's fine, because because it is known. So I just moved the lieutenant out of the way. But I figured, okay, then he's gonna trap my lieutenant. So he's gonna get a lieutenant. That's not great, but I'll still be winning. And he does this, so I'm like, okay, maybe he's just trying to score my lieutenant. And then he um, hits the corner. So, I mean, good thing my my flag wasn't there, right? <laughs> yeah, I sometimes play with the setup, but I but my flag's in the corner here. But I mean, I moved it to here because it's like a bit more centralized, I guess. But it still gets slaughtered like as much, but. I mean, at least for this game, it was good because he would have just lotted straight there. And he still might lot of the flag. That is still totally possible. So here I'm like, oh no, here, here he goes again. So I got a lieutenant here. So now I'm, I think I'm still winning because I'm, I'm down a lieutenant, but I'm, I am a, I'm two sergeants and two miners and a scout. So I think I'm still winning, but if he keeps going, he's the captain. Then, then I'm not in the right spot. Then he hits my flag. I'm like, of course I've lost. <laughs> but at least Marshall's out of his position. So that's good. So I don't know why he stopped there. It's weird because he knows that this is not a bomb in flags, so there's chances of this being a bomber. I mean, they're not low per se, but they're um like this is like in my opinion have like similar chances. So maybe he was just happy with getting lieutenant and he wanted to stop, which is I mean I, I applaud him for doing that because I mean a he could have beat me if, if he didn't, but yeah people when they started lottering they didn't know when to stop and this guy did so he he got a material and he didn't want to take any, any more chances, which makes complete sense. So now, this move signals to me that if his flag is um, bombed in, it's either here or here. So now, this piece is probably going to... I'm probably... I'm like, okay, he's going to trap my lieutenant, but that's fine. So I'm just going to like get a better board position while he's doing that. And he has no interest in lottering these pieces, which is good because my flag's here, obviously. So yeah, that's a good thing. So I, I was by left here. This is only to like kind of force his marshal into this part of the board, so then he can't escape back up. Then he has to bring like another piece down to like quote unquote freeze marshal, 
which is exactly what I, what I want them to do. Because the spy is, I, mean, I wouldn't say it's like it's pretty obvious, but it is it is quite obvious. It is it's, um general colonel spy trap. So yeah, now I'm like, okay, I'll, let me just run this miner up because I might be able to get something done here. Just like find the some material because he he probably thinks it's a major. So I go right here, because if I went up, probably we would just hit it like a trade or something like, like that, but um, now I go up, making him like make a decision of whether to hit it or not. And he does this. I don't understand why he, did, why he didn't hit it, because this was a major, which I assume it was because he was bringing it out. And he should have hit it, because like, this is my obvious marshal. Because if you remember before, um, I got a, a colonel scout instead of, instead of the marshal, which he should have taken that as a signal that this was my marshal. So if this was major, I'm not sure if it was, but if this was, he should have hit the minor. But he didn't, so. Uh, so I'm like, okay, I can either hit this bomb and find an inevitable sergeant waiting for me, or I can just like, oh, I'll go up and scout something around. So he was here. I don't really understand this move. Like, I don't see what it accomplishes, judging by how this is going on here. <laughs> So I get a bomb here, so, so, so I'm like, okay, no way he just let me have his flag. Okay, so this is what I, uh, what I don't understand. So after I um, moved here, okay, why didn't he just move this here? This was something, this was a minor or better. I mean, unless it was his spy, which is, that's, that would be really weird, but I guess it is possible because it was Gen Colonel, if you remember. But yeah, that, that was that was really weird. So he just like, basically, he basically just, just like, let, let me walk in and get his flag, which I, which I don't really understand. I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong, but. Even if I didn't do that, I think I still could have won because, in my opinion, my war position was better because his marshal was kind of trapped here, and my marshal had my marshal had like more like, like more space that that, that could go. So yeah, I think I would have won the game either way, but that was a pretty funny way to win. He just, he, he completely messed it up. He should have um, defended his flag much better than that, but he didn't. Um, so yeah, that was pretty nice. So we're silver silver major now, 438 elo. So we're almost at, um, we're almost at the silver colonel. So yeah, so this is my highest yellow um, ever. Um, like, so yeah, that's pretty neat. I'm, I'm, I'm almost gold. I'll probably get there pretty soon. Depends how much I play, of course. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.